reactivity of pyridine n oxide under this heading we are going to discuss two different reactions one is nucleophilic substitution and another is electrophilic substitution because these two reactions are common for aromatic ring and pyridine n oxide this molecule is aromatic compound now here before we start our discussion we just look at the nucleophile this reaction and the electrophile this reaction nucleophile means electron rich species with or without negative charge sometimes it ha it has negative charge or sometimes it is not having and the electrophilic substitution means electron deficient species where the positive charge is there or sometimes there is no positive charge but electron deficient center in fact electrophilic substitution reactions are more common reactions in aromatic uh, compounds particularly bromination nitration sulfonation etc as compared to the nucleophilic substitution reaction for example amination is a nucleophilic substitution reaction so under this heading we are going to discuss where if electrophilic substitution taking place where that electrophile will attach and if nucleophilic substitution is taking place where that nucleophile will attach because it is not like benzene here if i give the number 1 2 3 4 5 6 so in this heterocyclic compound all carbons are not identical just like benzene ring that's why we have to face that problem if we are performing electrophilic substitution reaction where to attach that incoming electrophile so to decide the position of in incoming electrophile or incoming nucleophile we have to discuss its reactivity first and to discuss its reactivity we have to consider its resonance so if you have not seen my previous video which is on resonance please i recommend you to see that video before this video one more thing i want to add here that to draw the resonance structures completely i also recommend one more video that is on uh, formal charge determination so you just watch these two video resonance and formal charge determination before this video because here you must able to draw resonating structures properly then and then only you can understand reactivity of pyridine and oxide now let us start the discussion uh now to decide the position of electrophilic substitution and the nucleophilic substitution reactions we have to consider its resonance see here on the nitrogen oxygen is attached here oxygen is playing very vital role to decide the position of incoming electrophile and incoming nucleophile here that's why i have written here two types of resonating structure in first structure this oxygen is actually removing electron density from the ring and here in this second resonating structures here oxygen is doing or oxygen is providing electron density to the ring it is depend upon whether oxygen is uh, removing that electron density or oxygen is donating that electron density is depend on the reagent what reagent we are using for the reaction now consider this one where the oxygen is actually removing electron density that's why i have shown that arrow if oxygen is doing that work then you have to shift to draw the first resonating structure first pi bond over this nitrogen because nitrogen is already electron deficient you can do that if i move that bond over the nitrogen lone pair will develop over the nitrogen and that positive charge will be vanished so this is as per the formal charge determination but something is lost from this carbon number 2 and that is what there is a hydrogen one more hydrogen is there so there are actually three electrons on this carbon that's why positive charge is developed as if this positive charge is move from nitrogen to the carbon now doing the same thing you have to just move this pi bond which is at adjacent position to this bond to this on this bond which is a bond between 2 and 3 which is single bond now it will become double bond if you do that you will develop one more positive center so this 
carbon is now losing its pi bond and the same charge will develop here on this positive on this carbon number 4 now you can do the same thing you can move the next pi bond in between this carbon number 4 and 5 and after doing that you will get this positive charge is move at the carbon number 6 now you can form one more structure by just shifting this lone pair in between nitrogen and carbon number 6 so you will get here again this kind of structure where the positive charge is present on the nitrogen so in this way you have to draw the uh, different resonative structure and I have drawn here 2, 3, 4 and 5 resonating structure finally I have combined all this structure to draw this resonance hybrid what in fact double bond is moving on all five carbon so that moment is shown by using a dotted line and where the positive charge is developed that I have shown by using a delta sign that is partial positive charge develop here carbon number two carbon number four and carbon number six and uh, if you look here nitrogen in some structure nitrogen having po uh, complete positive charge but in some structure that positive charge is gone that means complete positive charge is not there on, on the nitrogen that's why it is shown by using a delta sign now here in all this structure negative charge is constantly there on the oxygen that's why you have to show that charge a complete negative charge over the oxygen so this is our resonance hybrid so in this way you have to draw the resonance hybrid now i'm consider another work of oxygen here oxygen is donating electron density that's why i have shown the i have changed the direction of uh, electron flow from oxygen to the nitrogen now i'm doing reverse thing here i have taken this pi bond over the nitrogen now uh, since electron flow is coming from the oxygen these now uh, i'm doing the different thing positive charge is there over the nitrogen but this bond i'm moving over this carbon and if i move this bond over carbon just exactly uh, opposite to the previous one and uh, here this carbon having five electrons one two three and five that's why a complete negative charge is developed here on this carbon again i'm doing the same thing i'm i'm just uh, shifting this lone pair in between this carbon number two and three to form a new pi bond this pi bond and if i do that i must shift this pi bond over the carbon number four so that negative charge is developed on the carbon number four and if i continue that kind of moment that means shifting of pi bond in bit, uh, uh, on this single bond and moving this double bond on the next carbon carbon number six i get this this structure and finally i can draw here one more resonance structures so if i draw this one two three four and five resonating structure i have i can combine all these structure in this all structures uh, double bond is move over the all over all carbons that's why a dotted line a circular dotted line is shown there and uh, you can see here in all structure a constant negative charge is there on the nitrogen that's why i keep that positive charge over the nitrogen but a negative charge over oxygen is vanished in some structure and it is there only in two structure that's why i put their partial negative charge and i observe or you can observe here at carbon number two four and six there is a partial negative charge because a uh, that negative charge is there in some structure and in some structure that negative charge is vanished so i can draw this resonance hybrid uh, for next kind of uh, resonating structure where the role of the oxygen is different now in presence of nucleophile nucleophile is electron rich species now here it, this species having sufficient electron so it will go to that carbon where the electrons are not present or electron division carbon of their positive charge is present and we observe that there is a positive charge at position number two four and six obviously if you perform nucleophilic substitution reaction that will take place at uh, carbon number two four and six in fact carbon number two and six are identical so mostly if you see here 50 percent this position so uh, and the 50 percent this one or the less than 50 percent this one so obviously nucleophilic substitution taking place at position number two and if position two is blocked 
then only it will move to the four position fourth position so you remember only one thing nucleophilic substitution in pyridinian oxide taking place at 2 4 and 6 position particularly at second position or at fourth position uh, this is all about now if you want to perform electrophilic substitution reaction another role of uh, uh, this resonating structure uh, of oxygen uh, you have to consider uh, that means pulling effect and uh, you can see here negative charge partial negative charge is developed over 2 4 and 6 carbon so obviously this electron diffusion electro uh, electrophile will go either at two position or say six position or fourth position so electrophilic substitution taking place again at the same position because the role of oxygen is changed uh, as we change the reagent and again uh, this is mostly taking place at carbon number 2 or uh, if they block or if uh, that is not available then it will move to the fourth position or if, uh, it is depend on the concentration of the concentration or reagent factor uh is playing most valuable role over here and this is all about reactivity of pyridine n oxide thank you